you're looking at the polling right now, President Trump is in every, up in every single swing state. They are hemorrhaging the black vote right now. And they brought in Kamala Harris to shore up the black vote. And the only thing she did was ruin it. Because at the end of the day, black people look at her and they say, look, I'm all for diversity or whatever, but I'm not for stupid either. Mm -hmm. I want competent people leading us. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I don't care what you look, look like because I can't afford to fix my car and I can't afford to buy groceries right. and I can't afford to buy medicine. So at this point, you talking about racism and you talking about this, that, and the third, that's not important to me right now. I just want to live. And with everything being up 50% at a minimum on any kind of good in this country is destroying the middle class. It is destroying people. This is why people are waking up right now. And, it, you know, I remember 2020. Uh, in 2020, it was kind of like that. But mortgage, the mortgage rate was at Two and a half, I, I refined right. my house at two and a half percent. And although it was COVID, everybody was buying new cars like hotcakes and, and everybody was living large. And then three years later, since COVID, what happened? What happened? There's no excuse for it. We have to get back to this. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I'm from Texas. Energy. Mm. Why are we destroying our energy sector? Why are we relinquishing our power to Venezuela and all these other real countries when we, we can literally provide our own energy right here in this country because God gave us the Permian Basin and the Marcella Shell. We have it right here. Do we refuse to use it? Why do you think? The agenda. Yeah. yeah but, but how does that help anyone? I, I, I really sometimes go, why? And when you don't have an answer, I'm like, it's just, is it just pure evil? That, that's and my, control? 